Hello, beautiful Leo. How are you, my beautiful people? Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome. This is a little bonus extra reading for the end of the month, the end of the year, the end of December. Uh, with me, Judy Paul. Thank you for being here. And also, while I'm here, before we start the reading, can I just use this opportunity to thank you all for your support this year? Uh, this channel of ours has grown to over 100,000 subscribers now. That happened a few weeks ago. <laughs> I am so incredibly humbled and honoured to be able to help hopefully inspire and guide so many of you. So thank you so much. And your subscribes have really helped the channel to grow. And it's just awesome. Thank you. Anyway, let's get on. So we're going to look at your current energy and what's coming in. So a bit of a shorter reading, but a little bit of extra guidance. Um, so your first card out, Faith, which is the Hierophant card. OK, Leo. And this is good for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross watching. Did I say that? I can't recall. Memory isn't what it was, you know. All right, my lovely people. Let's see what we've got. OK. So we have faith, we have the Empress, the Wheel, that's three out of three for Major Arcana. We have the Four of Wands, yeah we want one more, I was just hesitating to ask, and the Six of Cups. All right, a lot of power here Leo, a lot of power. Major Arcanas are talking about the significant big things in our life. The minor are the day-to-day -day sort of minutia nitty-gritty stuff. So you have the Hierophant, the Faith card. Now the Hierophant signifies something that is long-term, stable, secure, commitment. It can mean a marriage. It can mean a long-term stable job, you know, a nice permanent contract as opposed to one of those temporary ones or short-term ones. This is something that you believe in. You've put your energy into it. You've put your whole being into it. Now, for some of you, this is also, as it says on the tin, faith, believing, believing in a, a a dream, a wish, an aspiration, a desire, and really feeling into it and saying, this is my time. Now, if you haven't checked out your 2023 readings, the link is below. I know many of you have, and thank you for those of you who've bought them. Um, but 2023 generally is feeling um, quite different energy to 2022. 2022 has been a little bit up and down, not as much as 2021, but it has for many of you kind of not got you where you wanted to be. I think I feel into it and feel like some of you thought you'd be further along by the end of this year than you actually are. Further along in what? Your career, a home, a relationship, whatever it is. Uh, for some of you, health. Um, you have been moving yourself forward here and you are right okay i'm just listening to them they're saying go to the wheel all right so the wheel of fortune is a major karmic cycle a new beginning it's kind of one down from the world all right so it's it's the world comes in to end a cycle and the wheel of fortune is saying right whatever all right they're saying stay with it explain a bit more all right so the world is the last card in the deck. It means the last card in the major arcana, I mean. It means that something big, significant has tick, 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 done, finished. We're moving into something very different. The wheel is number 10. So it's not right at the end, but it means that one particular area of your life has come to its closure and you're moving into a new energy which is prosperous it's good fortune it's a positive card it's saying right everything that i've put in place i'm now reaping the rewards it's karmic balancing all right so what you've put out you get back and you're believing that this world um 
this wheel will turn in your favour. If you're waiting for something like selling your home or buying a home or getting that job that you want, you've been waiting for it to come in, waiting patiently with that face card, trusting that you will get your just rewards. It's quite uh, almost a, the justice card, not quite, but it is a very karmic card. Does that make sense? It's a karmic rebalancing, which I like for you. And it's coming out of the empress energy which is all about that creativity it's abundance it's flow it's um i create it i know what i want i'm sowing the seeds now and i may not get the harvest from that for a while because with the empress she's often depicted as pregnant as she is in this deck um, let me show you up here. Uh, there we go. OK, so it's saying, look, I'm creating something now and it's OK if I wait a few weeks or a few months for it to come into uh, tangible, being able to hold it, touch it, reality. But I'm putting that in place now for many of you, because we've got that four of wands there with the six of cups, um, <clears throat> this is a really big heartfelt desire and dream with the face card and the wheel of fortune so this can be a new home because the four of wands signifies home but it also signifies marriage stability commitments as does the hierophant so for many of you and especially with it being with the six of cups which is the soulmate card um and our imagination look at that child there like wistfully thinking about what they want that you are bringing into fruition that which you are desiring. It's not going to hit, unlikely, no, that it's not going to hit for most of you during this next two or three weeks. You sow in the seeds ready for it to hit in the new year. So it'd be interesting to see what happens when I do the January readings. But you are working on something. This is the current energy. So some of you are wanting to move home. Some of you... Um, all right, just, I'm listening. That's why I'm pausing. OK, I'm listening to my team. Um, some of you are in a relationship and you are hoping that having faith that your partner is going to uh, pop the question, uh, ask you to marry them, ask you to move in, suggest uh, perhaps some of you um, have got two homes and you're saying, let's move into one home together. Let's stabilize this relationship. Let's make it more committed. And that can absolutely happen. There are more proposals over Christmas and New Year than any other time of the year. So that can absolutely happen. For some of you single Leos, you are wanting your soulmate to come in and you're having faith that they're going to turn up, that it's going to happen. So keep that faith going all right now i'm not feeling this is particularly about work um but i will link your career and money reading at the end it'll be over there somewhere at the end of the reading which i did um early november but it was for the rest of the year so check that out if you're interested in career even if you've already seen it it's always quite helpful to come back and look at it again a few weeks later so check that out but for many of you this is about home home and relationships being stable and solid and a new karmic cycle so let's have a look what's coming in for you my leos all right tell me about my leos please thank you okay so we have the six of pentacles the wheel of fortune again all right this when they do this you know i tell you once i tell you twice We've got the hanging man, we have the devil, and we have the eight of cups. All right, I like this combination for you. Let me bring the camera down so you can see the cards a little bit easier. So this is your current energy, and then this is what's coming in. So the six of pentacles, Leo, this is you receiving. This is a balancing up which is very much what the Wheel of Fortune is about as well. It's a balancing up. You see the scales in the cards and you see the hands out for money. This card represents being open to receive, having all of your needs met, having more than enough coming in that there's more left over, not just money, but this can be feeling appreciated, feeling supported, being supported, um, being um 
they're just saying like i'm just seeing somebody being hugged there hasn't been many hugs and those coming in there's more coming towards you um and this is what is coming in in the last couple of weeks of december so it's moving towards you which is enabling the creative energy that you've been in of abundance is moving now we've got the wheel of fortune so the wheel is turning in your favor you're already aligned with it here it may not have shown up in your current energy but it's you're in in the vibrational frequency of that new cycle which then starts to move in now it feels like let me bring the camera back up because i like to talk to you um it feels to me with this energy when we have the hanging man with the devil that you have been waiting for this shift to occur some of you for many months um there has been a kind of is it ever going to get there what's holding me back because the devil is all about feeling trapped and stuck and i can't move forward and it's out of my control and yeah we had this energy where it's not all going to happen straight away, but it is going to happen because that eight of cups is there saying we can now move away from the restrictions that have been holding you back. Whatever was in the way is shifting out. I like this for you very much. It's a moving forward now. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, that's why what's got up my nose, all right? What's got up your nose that has held you back? Um, because it's freeing, all right? The devil is under the four of wands here. So if you've been stuck with a home, um, stuck with the relationship isn't moving forward, it's unsticking. We are going to be moving forward, okay? Um, I just want to say for some of you, if this is about being in a relationship, romantic relationship, I mean, where you've been waiting for your partner to pop the question or say, let's take it to the next level or and, and just feeling like, is it ever going to happen? It's a little message here for some of you. If it doesn't happen in this period, then it's very likely that you are saying to yourself, it's not going to happen and I am off. I am leaving. I'm not waiting for him or her any longer. It's time to take this to the next level. And if you're not going to give me that commitment, I'm going to go and find somebody who will. Now, that's for some of you. Um, so you're, which can be disappointing, but I'm, I haven't got the three of swords here. I haven't got any disappointment cards here, but it is saying with the six of cups and the eight of cups here, my soul knows what it wants and if that isn't going to come in then i am leaving okay but mainly this energy here for you in this reading is all about that faith card that commitment the wheel of fortune is turning you're getting out of a stuck space and you are moving forward into that commitment and that feels really good let's finish off with an angel card leo final message okay we have two hang on one's on the floor okay we have moving towards the light and we have here and now all right so when we see the devil energy there where we've been held back and we can see that we are leaving that behind you are moving towards the light which is the positivity things flowing things being um, in that, well, they're just showing me the wheel, the wheel just moving gently forward now. All right. So bring your attention into the here and now. A little message here for some of you. We very often try to manifest for the future. All right. Now, I want to just stay with that for a minute. You may well be saying um, next year I want to move house um, or next year I want to start that business or in January I want to do this that or the other now all manifestation can only happen in the here and now you cannot manifest for the future because it doesn't exist it's not here yet so bring your attention if you're manifesting because we have the um, empress card here which is a manifesting card bring it into the now 
I am aligning with that new business, that new relationship, that new home right now. And it's already being created in the ethers. Um, it's already in the vortex, as Abraham Hicks would say. Um, it's just a matter of time before it shows up in reality, but it already exists now. OK, all right, my beautiful Leo, that is what I have for you. I hope that helps. Have an amazing Christmas, holidays, Yom Kippur, whatever different holidays are happening for you. Um, I am sending you much love and blessings and appreciation. And if you haven't already and you feel drawn, do subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. And that means that other people can find the videos and it helped them too. So I hope that the work that I have put out this year has helped you in some way. I know certainly for me, your love and support has helped me and it's a beautiful exchange, a beautiful flow. So happy holidays, Leo, and I will see you for your January readings. You take care. Much love. Bye bye.